Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody, a plasma cutter cut, uh, sent this to me having all kinds of problems. It cutting weird. And this is a huge project. This thing is 69 inches by over 50. So he's, they evidently have a big plasma table. I would suggest strongly changing your bed size to whatever bed size you have. Uh, I'm going to say you have a 5 by 10 or something to get this on there. <clears throat> but just when I opened it up, it just looks funny um, from far back. Look how thick the lines look. So if we click on this and move this out of the way, there's one copy. There's two copies. There's three copies of the outline of the people. That one we need. So you can just delete all these, but how do you know that that's there? You don't. But I can just see it now. It's a lot cleaner and crisper. I don't know about all the parts. I haven't gone that far yet. So you've got multiple layers on top of there. Four layers. So... The way to correct that and to be safe, let's just put everything back to the original file, is to use the Smart Fill tool. We're going to set the Smart Fill tool on red just for grins. And we're going to, well, first of all, I want to change my nudge factor to 75 inches that I have. And I'm going to fill that in. And then I'm going to nudge that over. Now I'm going to take away the fill with a left click, right click, and make sure it's a hairline that my plasma cutter needs. And now if we look, it's all grouped together, so we have to go to object and break the curve apart. But now there's just one piece of everything. The outline is just an outline. Um, this... They, also, they actually said it was very frustrating. This would be very frustrating to waste a piece of metal uh, of that size on some bad cuts. <clears throat> so whenever you get this file or any file, you know, try to use the Smart Fill tool. It'll do two things. One, it'll, it'll help you find leakers. And also the tires probably need to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, that's an awful thin line for a plasma cutter to go through without burning it up. And, you know, I would clean up stuff like get rid of these nodes. It, do, it doesn't change the look of the tire. But if you can just see right there, he didn't ask me to, or they didn't ask me to do this. But, you know, just little simple things in a plasma cutter. Um, not so much in a laser, but this, this right here would, um, isn't good. Um, that little bit of, that little bit of change will save your plasma cutter, uh, make it do a lot better cut. And what's so nice about this, if you cleaned up one of the tires, you know, you could probably swap it out for the next set by, let's just click on that and delete it. Click on that and delete it. See, these are even like broken up. Now we can grab that, hit the plus key on our keyboard. It's going to be pretty much the same angle. And if it's not, just turn it a little bit. Um, well, don't move the outside. So make sure. If you ever see anything jump, go back. And we can just move that over a little bit. Hit the plus key. Now see, this is broken up. And it shouldn't be. Let's find out what's wrong here. Let's use the Smart Fill tool on that tire. See, it's, it's, those are separate cuts, so it doesn't really matter. Um, let's go back to where we were, and you'll just um, click on that. Hold down your Shift key, click on that one, click on that one, then hit your Plus key on your keyboard, and move that tire over here, and of course, maybe even group it together for a second or leave, leave it as a group. And then you could, you know, instead of going through there and changing the thread on each tire, um, 
you could play around with that type of stuff and then just, you know, maybe on the bigger one, just clean it up. You know, it's got some, you know, this is pretty sharp turn for a plasma cutter. Just delete it. It's not going to change the look. Delete, delete these two nodes. Delete as many nodes as you can. And what I would do with a humongous cut like this, I would, could, I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and make a duplicate. Take the shape tool and just select all those and reduce the nodes by 20. Let's see what we did. The nodes are now 258 versus 287. It didn't reduce it that much. So maybe you could actually take the slide bar and slide it past 20, make it 23. Now you're at 258 nodes. I don't think it changed anything, you know, as far as the look, but the less nodes, the better. This, you know, just delete some of these nodes. They're not going to change the look of your drawing. In these little bitty cuts, leave them in or take them out. Uh, that's a lot of cutting. Anyway, I hope it helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.